welcome to my channel. Today, I'm here to talk about two more dreams I had. Um, I wanted to wait until I had another dream before I uploaded the first one, because they're both kind of short. And sorry if the screen's shaking. I'm holding it, and I, when I talk, sometimes I end up moving my hand on. I'm just trying to aim it to where it won't shake so much. Okay. So, I have two more dreams to um, talk about today. And you know, my whole channel, I basically just talk about dreams. Instead of calling this the God Channel channel, I just call this I just just call this God's dreams or something because like I don't even know my I just like all I talk about on this channel is dreams. I feel like I just rename it the Dream Channel or something. Um, but yeah, I have two dreams to share with y'all today. Um, I had these dreams about maybe each a week apart, and that's even price stretching it. They were pretty close. So we'll go with the dream that I had first. So in this dream, this really reminds me of Joseph, and if you don't know who Joseph is, because I know not everyone reads the Bible as much as me, so I'm just going to say, um, Joseph was the one that was thrown in jail, and he was interpreting dreams, and yeah, that's basically all there is to say. He's the one that interpreted people's dreams. I don't have to go into full detail. If you want to look up Joseph, you can read him in your Bible, you can probably Google him on Google, and yeah so um yeah in this dream it really reminded me of joseph so like i said i was thrown in jail and um i see these two older guys like these guys are pretty old like they look to be 70 maybe 80 like these two guys are pretty old i know from my dream one of them looked to be like 70 and the other dude looked to be maybe almost 60 and they were pretty old and in this dream these people were dressed, they weren't dressed like now, they were dressed in like Egyptian times, which I just thought that that, I just thought that that was kind of, I thought that was pretty cool actually, because like in my dreams they're so detailed that like the littlest thing is on point, I don't know why my dreams are so detailed, and like I mentioned probably several times already, when I have a dream, like this, it's just crazy, like I can go to a place i never been to before, and it'll look identical. Like, right after I have a dream, I go on, like, Google this place, and it'll look just like it did in my dream, even though I've never seen that place before. I don't know why my dreams are so detailed. It's just a blessing from God. But let me continue the dream. So, like I said, I was throwing jail, and these two guys, they were dressed like in Egypt times. And I just randomly, randomly, randomly walk up to these guys, and I ask them, how do you know God loves you? That's just what I ask them. I don't know, so random. And... Um, they just stare at me. They don't answer me. They just stare at me like, are you crazy? This is so obvious. Like, they just, like, their face just, like, you knew. They were like, it's so obvious. Like, they were like, like, when someone asks you a really simple question and you get it wrong and they look at you like, are you dumb? That's, like, their face expression. And, um, like, they were just, like, they were kind of, like, I noticed in the dream that after I asked the question and they thought that I was just, like, stupid, like, it's so obvious. It was almost like they were kind of getting mad at me for even asking the question because, like, it was so obvious. So I ended up running away and hiding, and I just got, like, this feeling, like, I guess you can call it the Holy Spirit. It was, like, this, like, pretty strong feeling of, like, the Holy Spirit. And I just put my hand over my heart in my dream, like this. I just put my hand over my heart in my dream, and I remember saying in my head, I said, that's God's love. And that was it. That was the whole dream. Just know, that dream, that was the whole dream, and I just thought that was so crazy, and you never need a question if God loves you, he does. I just didn't really know why I dreamt that exactly, but nevertheless, it's still a dream from God, and I love when I have my God dreams, and in that dream, it really felt like, you know, like the time around when Joseph was thrown in jail. Really, if like the moment I had that dream, I was getting those vibes, like it was the time when Joseph was thrown in jail and all that. I don't know why. But, yeah, that dream was really cool, and I already know God loves all of us. No matter what you've done, whether evil or good, God loves all of us. And then, like I said, I have one more dream that I want to tell y'all. This is my most recent dream. I believe it is my most recent that I've had. And this one, I have not exactly understand what it means, but it's still a dream from God, nevertheless. And you watching this video might understand it better than I do. Because sometimes I could have a dream that's not meant for me. And it's meant for somebody on here to watch it. And be like, oh, that dream, I know what it means. You know? So here is dream number two. Which I'm saying I do not think these two dreams go together. They're just two dreams I happen to have almost a week apart. 
And so, yeah, let me get into it. So in this dream, I was in Israel. And like I said, I've never been to Israel in my life. I've only seen maybe a couple pictures of it, if even. And I would love to go there. Oh, I would love to go to Israel. You know that's God's place, and I would just love to go there someday. Um, so in the dream, like I said, I was in Israel, and I'm at like a hotel, I would say. In my dream, it looked like a hotel. I'm just saying, it looked like a hotel in my dream, so I'm just going to say it was a hotel. So I'm in Israel at this hotel, and I'm just standing, I'm like standing by a window. And out of nowhere, God just like slowly walks up to me. It wasn't like scary or anything, like he just popped out of thin air. No, he just, like, slowly walked up to me from behind. And, um, he asked me, he asked me a question. This is what he asked me. He asked if I would give up everything for him. That's what he asked me. He asked if I would give up everything for him. So, in my dream, in real life, I wouldn't even question it. If God came and I just knew 100% it was God and he asked me that question, of course, I would give up everything for him. But, of course, it's a dream, so it just... I'm allowed to see whatever God wants me to. So in my dream, after he asked the question, if I would give up everything for him, I, I didn't reply. I just sat there by this window. And in this dream, for some reason, I was like really sad. I don't know why, but I was like really sad and mopey. Like I wasn't crying, but I was just like, it was like kind of like I was so sad that I couldn't even cry. And I was just sitting by this window. And throughout this window, I saw fire. And I, I saw fire come from the sky. And if you do not know, in the Bible, it does say fire will rain from the sky in the end times. And in my dream, I literally saw, they looked like um, meteors, and it was just like covered in fire falling from the sky. But it wasn't just like one or two, no, it was like a lot. It was almost as if, like, you know how it rains ice? Imagine the ice as if it was a meteor co covered in fire. And I saw fire rain from the sky and in Israel. And... That was the whole dream. That was it. Both pretty short dreams. And if you have any idea what you think the dream the dreams mean, um, you're more welcome to comment below. Um, in my opinion, I really feel like the first dream was just God reminding me that, that he loves me and everyone else. And the second dream, I'm yet to really understand what that one means. If I pray about it, maybe God will explain more upon that dream. And I hope you enjoyed my two new dreams. I've had, I had them about a week apart. Um, and yeah, bye for now, and if you want to see other dreams I've had, you're more than welcome to watch my other videos on the channel, and yeah, I guess bye for now.